bikes. The Brit Light Up the World came out well, but is headed now by Krista, and settling, it's Krista in front. A half length or so of Vulcan Circle the Globe and moving up quickly, Bulldog Yates and Legal Agent right with the leaders, followed by our Lance and then Dancing Dynamite. Light Up the World getting right out of it now from your Rimbler March here, and Classy Fella last, 600 out on the challenge, and Bulldog Yates the leader narrowly from Legal Agent. A length away in the third position as they race up to the home corner Circle the Globe, followed by a Vulcan Krista, then Dancing Dynamite. Might light up the world via the Cape and our Lancers next. In the stretch, 300 left to go. Legal Agent on the inside leads now narrowly from Krista again to second. Third circle, the globe from Light Up the World, followed at the head of the others by Dancing Dynamite and March here. But Legal Agent is in full flight and this super sprinter is racing away. Legal Agent three, Light Up the World, Krista, but Legal Agent wins the challenge brilliantly. Light Up the World second, third Krista, then our Lance March here, too short for him, followed by your Rimbler dancing dynamite. Circle the globe and classy fella revulsion and Bulldog 8 stop to a walk to finish last. Three legal agent, 460, Number nine, light up the world, 170. And number 10, Krista, 660. And, and today, number three, legal agent has paid $4.10 and 180. 410 and 180. Number nine, light up the world, Shane Dye has paid 180. And number 10, third, Krista, written by Mark de Montfort, $5.40. Well, as uh, we were discussing uh, earlier today, a legal agent and Pat Quinn, uh, the trainer, a certainly a close association. He's done an outstanding job, Pat, with legal agent. Very interesting interview with Pat and um, Greg Radley on the 2KY Racing Radio Drive. I was listening last night coming home from Gosford and very informative. And Pat said to Greg that... Uh, Legal agent, he felt, with all the problems that he's had with the horse, uh, he's the best he's ever been. And by gosh, Pat's comments 100% spot on. Rob Thompson had him right up with the speed today. It was thought that he might just drop back and uh, with so much established pace in the race and get a tag, but he was right up there with the inside running. And oh, this super sprinter, as I said, he just toyed with his rivals in the run to the line. 26 starts, 8 wins, 1 second, 6 thirds, Add uh, the first prize today of 68,000 to his existing, takes him to 360, not almost 370,000. A six-year-old chestnut gilding by Spectacular Spy from She's the Verdict, raced by the Spillane Syndicate, managed by Mrs. G. Quinn, wife of the trainer, and Mr. N. Tier, and Rob Thompson, the winning rider. Second placing goes to number nine, and that's Light Up the World, a Bay Mare 4, Rory's just a Christmas brood, jumped well, couldn't maintain the thrust, 48 wide on the corner, battled on well, but no match for the winner, who scored by two and a half lengths, two and a half a short head, two and a half a short head, 57-12, 57-12, not far outside Groucho's race record, 56-8. Light up the world, a Bay Mare 4, Rory's just a Christmas spirit, Gay Waterhouse, Shane Dyan, Krista. Gee, she's an improved mare. Bob Thompson's done a great job with his four-year-old Bay Mare by Mr. C from Chris Javid, Mark de Montfort. Fourth went to number five, and that was our Lance. One March here found it far and simply far too short. He's getting old now, and he just couldn't sprint uh, quickly enough to win at 1,000 metres. Rodney. The market update for the next in Brisbane. Let's have a look at that on Super Tab. One rapid pick, 31 and 8. Number two, Bucks Image, 880 and 323. Red Stad, 14 and 390. Four, Sahara Gold, the late mail each way, 790, 250. Five, Calvert Prince, 820, 450. Six, Celestial Power, 920 and 370. Seven, Ceremon, the sub and equal favourite, 760, 310. Eight out, nine, Lomas, 10 and 310. Ten, Reload, equal favourite. Uh, 710 and uh, 280, number 11 is out. 12, Blue Jacket, showing 39 and 810. Number 13 is uh, Drum Landrig, 30 and 750. 14, Faith in Goss, 15 and 380. 15 out, number 16 is uh, Peaceful Road, 1190 and 360. 17 out, 18, Stolen Lyrics, 39 and 870. 19 through to 22, scratched. 35,000, 20,000, 5, 7, 10 selections. Fourth, Doombin at 315, the first leg of the treble today. To bring back uh, happy memories for Pat Quinn in relation to Rob Thompson, the winning jockey, because uh, 
over the years they've teamed up on uh, many occasion occasion uh, on a successful note now the um, breakdown of the time there 57 12 the first 400 took 23 63 and the last 600 a very very speedy 33 49 but has been well documented the problems that this horse has had that's why he's only had 26 starts but a magnificent sprinter he really is and uh, as was uh, as discussed in the interview with Pat last night uh, when he back in July went to Grafton for the Ramoni handicap and he got beaten in a very tight finish a nose by Indian Chief but uh, the judge incorrectly put up legal agents number as the winner celebrations all around and then uh, Absolute joy turned to dismay, but as Pat said last night, very philosophically, well, that's racing. And uh, the Clarence River Jockey Club uh, subsequently set, uh, sent Pat a very nice letter apologising for, uh, for the mistake, even allowing for the fact it was very short-lived. So that was a nice piece of PR. Superfecta numbers.